Hi, I'm Dion from Evolution Support Services, and welcome to this EFT tapping on self-compassion. Uh, self-compassion can be something that we can direct inwards when we are having harsh or critical uh, thoughts towards ourselves. So let's do an EFT tapping on self-compassion. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being and repeating after me, and let's go with that flow. Even though I might beat myself up and I might say a lot of harsh words towards myself. And these harsh words may be a part of my conditioning as I grew and I stood deeply and completely in love, honor and accept myself even though there's some negative words I say to myself and I really expect better of myself and I feel like a big letdown sometimes and I'm open to directing some compassion towards myself and I deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself even though I really don't like myself sometimes there are emotional aspects and physical aspects that I simply despise. But I like to direct some compassion towards myself so I can learn to grow. And I'm still deeply and completely love, honor, accept myself. This self compassion. This compassion towards oneself. I might not have had a lot of compassion towards myself. I may have grown up. Or in my day to day. Really like to beat myself up. Really like to accuse myself. Of not being the best of not doing better in a situation, of not saying the right things, or being the right things when I'm around others. And when I'm not around others, this critical self-talk really loves to criticize really loves to parade me around and display all the things I've done wrong. I should have done that better. I'm such an idiot. What are these people thinking about me? All these negative thoughts. And some of these negative thoughts may have been from my environment. They may be just words echoed to me. Deep within me. And some of these words that I'm performing too. Maybe because I really had to perform. Not get anything wrong not say the wrong lines to that certain someone or else there's consequences and I might have a mindset now if I don't do the wrong thing there'll be an or else a form of punishment an internal punishment beating myself up for simply trying to learn to trying to develop to trying to grow every mistake I made may have been met with physical punishment or emotional blame 
and I might spend a lot of my time trying to avoid this blame by really being critical towards myself to almost a point of perfectionism where I can do no wrong so no wrong will happen to me and this form of protection doesn't feel too good So I'm trapped within myself, punishing myself to live. The mistakes that I've made, caught on a blame cycle, playing in a loop of what I should have done or who I could have been if I took the perceived right option. And this doesn't feel good, too good to me. Definitely doesn't feel loving towards myself. Doesn't feel compassionate. I might be compassionate to others. I might understand where they're coming from. But not so much to myself. And I might be open now to giving myself a bit of compassion. To giving myself a bit of a break. And to ease up on myself. To give myself some space. To give that internal critic some space between me and my feelings. Because it's really hurting my feelings hearing these words that I'm saying to myself. And if I can have compassion towards this inner critic, because it was trying to keep me safe. in a very judgmental way. But it was trying to protect me from harm. From trying to give myself a better way of life. Where I don't get hurt. From any external source. Wanting to do me harm. I think it's okay to make mistakes. I think it's okay to fail. There are many things in my life that I didn't so much get here by success, but by trial and error, trying out what works. seeing what doesn't work and what works for me and what works for me might not necessarily work for others and when I have that understanding I might be able to direct some love towards myself And I might be able to say to this inner critic, let's learn together. I understand that you want the best for me. But hurting myself doesn't help. And I want to help myself learn and grow through life. To not be caught up on the barbed wire of all these offensive words said to me. But to give myself some gentleness 
allow myself some patience and a bit of compassion. Because these experiences happen to me. And I really want to give myself some new experiences. And I really want to give myself a break while I learn those experiences. So thank you very much, inner critic. Can you please become an inner champion for me? I need that inner courage. So we can both grow together. Because anything that's inside of me is coming along with this journey. And I don't need these voices anymore. I need loving voices towards myself. Words of encouragement rather than words of discouragement. And I'm going to be a bit of a teacher for myself. And I'm not going to be a strict teacher. A teacher that walks with my feelings. Including the harsh feelings. The ones that were trying to keep me safe. And when I go inward and walk with these feelings. Upon this healing journey. Not only can I give love to my positive feelings. I can also give some love and compassion towards my negative. for trying to keep me safe. And I can accept these feelings and bring awareness. For every time these voices speak up, they are saying some wrong things. But I might say the right things to them. that may never have been said to me. So I'll teach myself to love myself. I'll teach myself to give myself some compassion. And I'll love my failures that help me grow in mind, body and spirit. And taking a full breath in and letting it out. So yes, giving yourself some self-compassion, um, easing up on ourselves. Uh, we've learnt ways um, along our journey that sometimes help and sometimes offer of no help to ourselves. So uh, with learning anything in life, it, it's a slow journey and um, I think the best lessons are learnt when we are enjoying the lessons rather than fearing the lessons. So I'm Dion from Inflation Support Services. I offer EFT tapping one on one online and yes, a new background. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll catch you in the next EFT tapping video and I'll have a good one. Bye for now.